All right, it's Saturday. We are here at Evergreen Antiques. I'm with the wife. <laughs> and we are attending the second toy show that they're having here. Evergreen Antiques Toy Show, hosted by Raiders of the Lost Toys, shirt down there. And uh, yeah, getting ready to go inside. Look over some vintage turtles, some other vintage goodness. So let's see what they got. What better way to start this show off than with our friends at the Big Kids Store? So check out, see what they got. Oh, virus. And we got some, some gargoyles back here. What's that? Captain Leonardo. Yeah, I was looking at him. Oh, pizza face. Complete 30 bucks? Yeah. That's a uh, possibility there. Yeah. I don't. I do have this one complete already. Wow. Oh, touchdown, Leo. Oh, I know. What you got? Would you like a bag, darling? I do. Yeah. Good stuff in this case. And this happens to be the toy cantina that you guys saw in the Delaware Toy Dome collectible yeah, show video. Awesome. Another awesome store that we are definitely going to be visiting at some point. Some real Ghostbusters. I don't have this one. 20 bucks. Pilot Don. It's a possibility. All right, more turtles. Let's see how broke we can go, Tommy. Because they'll make a TV show where the first appearance of some character that you're concerned about. Luckily, I don't think there's anything here I need. <laughs> uh, with the exception of the shredder. See, I spoke too soon, so I don't think I have a shredder. I do, but not not a complete shredder in this good shape. Oh, let's come back for that. 
I'm so you dig through everything. Oh, Superpowers Aquaman down here. Woo! You have that? Yeah, I have it with the Trident too. The Superman one. Uh, no cape. Is it official? Yeah, that's that's it. Toy Biz did a copy of it. Yeah. It was crappy. Well, I had, I had the Flash one. Remember, I bought them at Retro Con. Yeah. They're nicer on the car. Yeah, they are. Oh, the Ogon Battle. Dude, I had this. Yep, that's a Japanese car. I had a lot of these when I was a kid. I always loved this one. It's my favorite. Let's see what else we got? Any candy in here? <laughs> <laughs> you can put it. Turtle Tiz. Yeah, let's do it. Hulk. Frank looking Hulk. <laughs> Which? Oh, there's another turtle. You might find a whole set in here, actually. Tiles. Cool, does it go through these and around? This I have. Yeah. But I never saw them both. Really? So you had the blue one, you didn't I have, have this, the black one. And I have the Michael Keaton one. Oh. I, never, I never saw this. I want you to have books? Yeah. <laughs> you gonna get it? Yeah, I think I will. Yeah. Because now I have to do this on my show. Yeah, you got all three of them. Actually, there's a fourth one, the Ben Affleck one they did recently. Yeah, yeah. But they don't do the head, now they do the whole bust. So, okay. Oh, I almost don't, oh, he's sexy. I almost don't want to leave this. But the feet, these are the old ones. Yeah, the funny thing is, like the color scheme, like, my flash is that wasn't conscious, but that's the color scheme that, that I have. It's really weird. Yeah, cool. I don't know. It's an expensive piece, but it's going to cost me money to ship it. Not going to dump it. It's more of a story. It's brand new. I never opened it. I never tried it. I buy things in my stores. Oh, good. So you're saying it's battery uh, operated? I assume it looks brand new. Oh. How would it? A really good shape. The cape looks really, really nice. We're all fine here. really clean the Star Wars figures. Yeah, I try to put the best that I can. Yeah. And they're in like very good condition. Yeah, I gotta go back and go through that process again. That's why I didn't bring extra like <laughs> bins, random bins, because you really gotta look them over, you know? Yeah, yeah. It takes time, and then you'll have someone that's very good at knowing what the CAO is, or you know. Right. I'll just try to the bins. awesome. This is the Plunder Palace in Cherry Hill. You guys never been there. You're not set up today? I'm not set up. We found Rose and Tony from RetroCon. I just made a, uh, a good purchase from these guys. I'll show you after the, after the video. Absolutely. Oh, you know it. You know it. In a good size. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger haul this year, too. Bigger haul, more guests. 
All right, so we're back from the toy show. We're back in the collection room. We picked up some pretty cool things for the collection, pretty turtles heavy uh, for this haul. So let's take a look at what we picked up. The first thing that we picked up was a toy line that I was looking for. I think I mentioned it in the last video, uh, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs from Tyco. And we found one figure. We found the Jungle Fighting Jack Tenrec. 15 bucks for this. Good deal for that. Next, we have some awesome pickups from Rose and Tony over at RetroCon. They were set up there. If you guys have never been to RetroCon, make sure you come out this September and check it out. It's always a really, really good show. They ended up bringing some carded TMNT. And these cards are pretty much beat to all hell. They're pretty much openers, which I was fine with. Um, and they had five of them there. And I walked in, I'm looking, and I'm like, ah, oh, man, I don't want to start spending money right away. But the more I thought about it, and the more people started to come around the table, I kind of just scooped them all up and said, okay, I want them all. And I got a pretty good deal on, on all five of them. First, we have Raph, the Space Cadet. And as you can tell, the cards on these are just absolutely destroyed. But the figures, they're fine. Next up, we have Don, the Undercover Turtle. This is probably the worst card. Look at this one. You would think this figure is, like, damaged in some way. But, nah, it's it's safe. There is something on his face, like something got in through one of the cracks. I gotta get that off when I, uh, when I open these up. Maybe at the end of the video, we'll open these up. Who knows? Next up, we have one of my favorites. I was actually looking for this figure. That is the Hose Him Down Don. And not as bad. This card's not as bad, but it's still pretty bad. There's a big crack right here. But like I said, all, it doesn't matter because all these are coming off the card and going right up in the collection. Probably the best one of this entire lot. One that as soon as I saw the price, I was like, okay, I have to get this one. And I even got a better deal on it. That is the April O'Neil as the bride. This whole wave is pretty expensive, April being the cheapest one. I got everything for 125, so I was happy with that. But wait, you might be thinking to yourself, wait a minute, you only showed four turtles and there were five. Well, I traded off the Rapid Mikey to my buddy Mike at the big kid store. The reason why I did that is because I already have the figure, but mine doesn't have the stickers on the front of his clock. So I figured, okay, I'll buy this one, I'll sell that one off, and then I'll kind of offset the cost of this one. So I I was showing my buddy Mike all the turtles and he had mentioned that when they were taking them out to set them up he actually was gonna buy it but he didn't get a chance to we agreed to do a trade I would give him that for one or two turtles that I needed so first up we have pizza face complete you guys saw me looking at this in the video so happy to have that that was 30 and then adding to the sewer sports turtles we have touchdown Leo this one was 17 complete i think i'm only missing two of the sewer sports turtles to complete that whole set so we'll be looking for those with all the toy shows that we have planned for the next few months that's gonna do it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave some likes and comments down below if you were at the toy show let me know what you picked up if you guys enjoy toy hunting videos and toy show videos consider subscribing to the channel turn on notifications so you never miss an upload and like always thank you all so much for watching i'll see you next time we're gonna start off first i think with let's do don first i don't know if i can guys i don't know i just the cards are beat but i think i just oh okay up oh, up oh. can't do it can't go back now oh no the humanity oh no man i feel like i'm a kid again opening turtles oh, oh, be careful let me check him out because he had some stuff on his face Okay, it wasn't anything major. It was just some stuff from the plastic. <sighs> Smell the turtles, guys. Smell the plastic. Damn. So stiff. Love it. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I showed it to you guys. I'm just sitting here playing with it. Keep him there. Cool briefcase right there. There's accessories. There he is. Awesome. Raft the Space Cadet. He's next. Oh. 
Oh, oh my God, the humanity. That's a crazy man. He's crazy. There's that. Goes that way. And I mean, I'm not going to set up all the accessories with them. So I kind of want to just get these opened and, you know, all that. I don't want to really set anything up. Put that on him real quick. Hopefully you guys have stuck around till now. Hopefully that little hint in the video prompted you to not want to stop watching. Hopefully you're not annoyed watching a grown-ass man open up, you know, 30-year-old toys and open them up. Play with them on camera. We all have our things, guys. Don't be judging. All right. I'll set all these up when I get them displayed. Man, this is going to be a good a good year for vintage TMNT. Me and uh, Sentry were talking about some of the shows that we're going to. And we were, we were talking about, yeah, I want to go to we go to North Carolina. I want to go to this store, get this figure, get that. Like, we're, we are so uh, excited to get back down there. And everywhere else will start buying the stuff. Start adding it to the collection. Hose them down. Don is next. You know, recently we added a couple. And now we're adding more. So that's going to be a, a big focus of mine going forward for toy shows. Get more vintage TMNT. Um, I'm trying to complete the Cadillac and Dinosaurs toy line. Because it's not very big at all. It's, it's not impossible. Um... Congo, Dick Tracy, all toy lines I want to try and get completed at some point. And all of them pretty much are reasonable, except for that one Dick Tracy figure. Otherwise, that line is affordable as anything. And most of these turtles are affordable also if you're looking to get into vintage TMNT. Just some are way more expensive than others. There's Puppy Dog with his hose. I don't know if you guys heard that. My stomach just growled. Hungry. Fat guy cravings. Uh, fire extinguisher. Axe. It's come handy at work sometimes when people get on my nerves. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, this is a cool figure. I love this one. Look at this. This is so awesome. I love this guy. The Bride. Very expensive. I don't think I'm going to be hunting them down anytime soon. But if I happen to if I happen to get one at a good deal, that would be nice, but I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, Pro's coming off. It's alive. Alive. Oh, yeah, man. She looks awesome. That's what she looks like. That's so cool. So happy to have at least one of um, one of these figures from this wave. This is the card. I'll just leave that in the plastic. No reason to open it up. And here are our accessories. I think that's going to do it. Those are our accessories right there. All right, yeah. So, some new turtles to add to their collection. This is going to be a fun and very expensive year, I feel, going forward with getting more of these turtles. I have them on a uh, like a little shot glass shelf, um, which I think I might take them on. I might put like more common figures on there as I, as I grow the collection. Your more common, less uh, expensive figures might go on there. And then the ones that are like really expensive might go in my Detoff. That might be like the best way to do it. It's kind of how I have it now, actually. I might have to take a couple of them off and put them in the in the Detoff. But all right, guys, if you made it this far, thank you. I hope this wasn't too long. I'll, I'll cut some things out of here. Uh, this was a little too long, so I'll, I'll shorten it as best I can. Next show you might see is New Jersey Collectors Con video. That's on April 1st. That'll probably be out that Monday, um, April 3rd. Ooh, oh man, did you guys hear that? 
I am hungry. All right, so I'm going to go feed the beast, and uh, I will see you guys later.